Good afternoon guys, hope you're well. Same process as ever, just please bear in mind that it's a Sunday embargo, so the open section is busier. Try and get to as many of you as we can. Start with Ian, please. Hi Pat. Um, can I start the press conference by talking to you about Kyle Walker? Uh, he's said this week that he wants the authorities and social media companies to do more after being racially abused on Instagram. Uh, I, I'm obviously guessing that you in, are in full support of Kyle, but what are you doing as a, as a manager and what are the club doing to support him? At first it's unacceptable, but not because he's a Kyle, for every human being. Unfortunately today in the real world happened many times. Uh, uh, of course it's not necessary to say the support that he has for the entire club, for of course, for all the staff, all the staff, for all the people there, but it's, it's not because it's Kyle. Unfortunately, it's happening in every department of our society. It's completely a, unacceptable, and we are full support to him. How is he? I didn't speak. OK. Um, can I ask you about the match, then? With everything that's gone on the last few weeks, does it help the club, that it's a derby with the atmosphere, with the emotion, and this match on Sunday, does it does it help you move on from your problems, the fact that it is such a big occasion? It's a football game. The same points, of course, emotionally for our fans, for all of us that we will stay a long time here. It's a bit special, but at the end, always I said, in this type of situations, and you know, I would say in this type of games, as less emotional you are, you will be better. Thank you. Before the Juventus game, you spoke to Luca Toni and you, you, you spoke about a lot of human elements of your job, about your state of mind, about how nervous you're feeling, about the fact that you don't sleep well, that you don't eat well. I think a lot of people might be shocked or surprised to hear you talk about things like that. Is that the reality of being a football manager or is that the reality of the situation that your team is in at the moment? I think in our jobs, always we will do our best and work the best as possible. If it doesn't happen, you are more uncomfortable than when the situation is going well. Not just the managers, you know, especially the people like is, you know, <coughs> being a scrutiny for every step that we do as a team, always it happened, but I'm fine. So, of course, when I'm more, have more thoughts is about what Happen? What can you do? And uh, what I feel right now is like I feel the last three weeks, one month, and every press conference when I see what is the situation. Nothing changed, absolutely. I'm really pleased for the way we played. And I have a certain moral authority what happened in my career as a football player and manager. The titles we won that I know perfectly when we are going playing good or not good. We have to shoot more, yeah, in the final third. We have to defend better, yeah. We have to avoid mistakes, yeah, in both sides, yeah. But the game is there. Except, as I said, except the Liverpool game, the Bournemouth game, the rest of the games, we were there. We are not consistent for 90 minutes. We are not consistent in teams. Like, you know the reason why. Well, I, I know the reason why. And that's why is move forward. Keep walking. So this is what you have to do. Does, does that make it easier for you <laughs> when you go to bed at night to go to sleep thinking you're doing everything you can and like even I know when you win you still want more you can still demand more it's not necessarily about winning and losing but being at peace with yourself almost but that you're doing the best you can do you your best when you write the article that in this press conference yeah I'm pretty sure of that I don't know how many people write, read to you what you write. I don't know, but you want to do your best. I want to do my best. And when I do my best in the good moments, we are happier. But the next, when I arrive the next game, I'm concerned the same right now. What I have to do? What the lineup it will be right? Will be wrong? I do the same. So there is no human being that do uh, make an activity like they want to do it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't happen. It's the same. And all the managers are more concerned with him because have a responsibility for his people, for the players, for the, of course, the support, the support that club more than any anyone else. So they want to do it well. But sometimes, for the reason why I explained the last month, still we have to keep walking, keep walking. So the moment sometimes you know in the period you go through in the bad moments, in the bad times, you know that. 
But the problem, you have to keep walking, but the problem is the bad moment. It's not you. It's the situation, but not you. You are fine. We are fine. But we don't have results, and we have to, of course, do it, but even if it's not going to the good results, we have to keep walking. So that you have to do. It's the only chance. Uh, hi, Pep. The, um, the financial figures obviously were released by the club today, very healthy again. Um, record revenue, profits again, second highest, I think, ever on record. January is approaching. I know the window is a difficult transfer window, but have you had conversations yet? Do you know if you will have money to spend in January? No. What I want is my players back, the players that we have. I will have desperately compete with the squad I had at the beginning of the season. I said many times, this is the only regret I have. I don't have the players, these players, no new ones. But in a certain moment, the right moment we will see. But the fact that we have a revenue that I must congratulate <coughs> to the club and CEO and Haldun and all the people involved in that, because of course the club will be, must be sustainable. Uh, that doesn't mean we have uh, big, big resources, you know, to buy whatever we want, especially today, the transfer market, how expensive they are, everything, and what we prove in the last four or five years that, I'm sorry, we are not the best in that terms. One of the players you won't have back, although, unfortunately, is Rodri. Um, is that the one position, if the right player becomes available, you might look to enter the market for? Listen, when I have a three, four central defenders, I need the central defenders. When I have Kovacic and Gundo, I don't need a replacement in that position. When I don't have wingers for injuries at this season, I need wingers. When Erling is, is away, I have Oscar Bob and Phil Foden to play there. We have the same goals. This is the problem. If you tell me, no, no, all these players will be fine in that position, we need that, we go to the transfer market. But I don't know which one, because it depends. You have the four central defenders, I don't need central defenders. But we will have, you know, the only problem is, you know, Rodri. Rodri, we knew it from the beginning, but the problem with Rodri, of course, we are playing this season without the best player, the Ballon d'Or, and without the best player in England last season. With Phil have played four or five games, but no more than that in his best. So how no, not is one team that play with a central defender with a Ballon d'Or and the best player in the Premier League during all the season? Of course it's difficult. You know, Chicago Bulls won six NBA with Michael Jordan, right? So since then, Michael Jordan retired, how many? So we have the problem that we had. In the moment we come back, we will be strong again. We will be a good team. At the same time, of course, you have to play the try to play that the way we played, especially in Turin, or especially in Nottingham Forest, and improve with the players that we have. That still we have a really, really good team. Not that squad, but the eleven in Turin was really, really good. Um, uh, to try to yeah to win games. But the reality, do you know, was the double holding midfielder the last game against Turin. You went to the Turin. Jack Grealish was one of them. So, and we play more decent, and Jack play again really good. But with that, we have to move forward. And I said, yes, third time, we have to keep walking. So sooner or later, we are going to get back. Eva, can I just um, check the injury that Manu Wakanji has got? What, what actually is it? Is it a muscle problem or a, or a knock? No, having discomfort in the area for the for the pelvis, for the abductor, and it doesn't feel good. And he are making incredible effort uh, playing in Bournemouth, what there was him and, and, and Nathan were not even the half in his best and uh, help us to, you know, to play there. And at the end, he can play the time, he can play 45 minutes, 15 after I had to stand back, step back and said, I have to recover, otherwise I cannot, I cannot be, you know? And, and Manu is a strong player and is so reliable, but in that moment cannot cannot be that. So if you, it sounds like you have only got three three defenders for for Sunday. Are you going to have to do something special with sort of positional? Because obviously there's no Rico either. I don't know. I don't know what I have to do. I need players, so I have three. And we will see what happens uh, then today and tomorrow, and and the plays we have, and yeah, we we'll think about it. Maybe some winger has to play as a fullback, or, or Mateus maybe can play as a fullback, or maybe play with five in the back when wingbacks are wingers. So I don't know. I have to. I'm thinking a little bit, a little bit. 
we are thinking what to do for the situation that you have just three central defenders. So, but the soul and the spirit of this team is there. So, we are sad. I'm sad for the players because pff, the way they run and they fight with the circumstances that they have. So, Bernard, a lot of minutes play. Gundo play in a position, can play sometimes, but he's playing alone there in that position, game by game. And at the end, arrive in the final third three or four times to arrive. Rico, our more consistent player of the season, uh, for the decision for the referee, cannot play there. Uh, of course, but pff, I think I know our fans, maybe they are sad, I understand completely, because we are used to, you know, maybe we lose seven games, eight games in one season, on two seasons, you know, and now we play with one month, a month and a half. So it's, normally they are sad, but they know that this group of players have made an, an era and then eight, nine, ten years that no one has done. and. and the numbers, the records, and no negative ones, but the positive ones they have done, this group of players, only I encourage them to support them until the end because they deserve it. So it's unbelievable what they have done, they do, in the circumstances that we have to compete in this calendar. Then the season, there are more games than ever in terms of the Champions League and whatever, have more injuries than ever. And it made me reflect that today, maybe in this calendar, you need a squad for 25, 30 players. It will be more difficult financially for the club, but today we're going to play the World Cup in summer, three weeks, start again the Premier League, and maybe we have to, you know, to have more depth squad because when the people say, what is the problem? The problem is the schedule. It's not the training, it's not the physios, it's not the doctors, it's not the players, it's not the how they foot, it's not how they rest. It's just one problem, it's the schedule. And the schedule sooner or later they will, they will happen for all the clubs. Look, Madrid, for example, they can have clubs that have many injuries. So, and this is the truth. So, and without players, everything is more difficult because when we won, it was thinking. When we won the travel, the four domestics, we have one, two, three injuries muscular sometimes that were so stable. That's why we could compete. And now we cannot. We can survive, like I said. It's time to survive, survive, stay there, be closer than ever. And sooner or later, the players come back and, and we qualify uh, for the Champions League. will not be easy, but we qualify and we can be there. I don't know in January, February, what's going to happen our team. Always will respond well, so we'll see. Do you want each guy to try and get us through a few of you for the embargo, Simon? Pep, you talked about Manu and Nathan playing at Bournemouth when they weren't fully fit. Have you got players in the team at the minute who are playing despite not being anywhere close to 100%? No, I would say, yeah, oh, it's probably Kevin is coming back. Last game was better than the previous ones, I would say. So, But I've been two months injured as well, Kevin, five last season. So it's step by step. It's in modern football, Erling play all the minutes. So therefore, has done Erling is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Without him, I don't know who it would be. Uh, but all of them. So it's, it's, it's that, honestly, it's so emotional from my point of view when I see them. You know, before and during the recovery time, the time to spend to be fit in this period. So it's, a, it's remarkable and I'm there. I'm there with them. And I told them and I tell them, you are good guys, you play good. So of course we don't get results. I know that this difficult is a situation and in this world you have to accept it. When you don't win, hit this business, you have to win, it's fine. You don't win, it's not good. But I have to analyze a little bit more than, than, than just the results. And with these players, I want to be here. So I don't want to, I want to stand close to them, not behind, not in front, not beside them. And, and yeah, this is what I want to do. Hi, Pep. Um, just on players coming back from injury, obviously Kevin's now started three games in a row. You were a bit wary of putting him in initially. How has he coped with three matches in a row? You have to do. I said before, they pass the table massage to the play games in the higher competition. Normal table massage, you have three days of training, training, training in one week, and after they start to, now they have to. Why isn't injured, Nathan injured again? Why? They play 90 minutes and 90 minutes. Three days later, after being the table massage, one month and a half. Training one day and a half. And recovery training sessions, 90 minutes and 90 minutes. If I have John and I have Manu, Nathan play 90 minutes, they don't play 90 minutes. 
And when the people say, why the substitution against Feyeno 75 minutes? It was 3 0, and I had to take care of him. The history is like that. And in that moment, they feel it's like one month, month later, injured, you know, with the amount of games, and we suffer it. And this is the truth. So, excuse, yeah. Yeah, excuse. Last one for the embargo, please, Richard. Uh, hi, Pep. You faced Ruben Amarim a few weeks ago with Sporting. I'm um, just wondering, are there any lessons that you can take from that game? Um, and do you see his influence rubbing off at United? Yeah, he's already there. He's already there. All the patterns that start to do it, how good the movements, everyone do it, and the runners and the pace and the... Yeah, he will do a good job, yeah, in United. I'm pretty sure of that. I, he, he would do it. Do you think that that game with Sporting will have any bearing on this game? Yeah, in two seasons ago when we won 0-5 as well, you know, always we have a good lessons too. Maybe they lesson better than because they beat us for one. I would like to play the game like we play in Lisbon tomorrow, the, on Sunday. Believe me. I would like to, the way we played in Lisboa, I would like to play on Sunday. I don't know if we'll be able to do it because for many reasons, but yeah, we'll see.